Hi everyone, let's take a look at how we can use things like DevOps, Git, together with ClickSense. So we have here a Sense app, very basic, um, using include files, reading the script from files on disk, uh, very minimalistic, and um, the UI has a bug in it. This is a bug, and we're going to fix that bug. So we also have Jenkins down in the lower left, which is an automation server. And we should do the code for editing the script. So let's fix the bug here. This is a bug. This is no longer a bug. All right. Uh, let's save that and commit it back into Git. And we see that uh, we can uh, get a diff. So we see what did we change compared to last version. This is an advantage of using a proper code editor that has um, revision control and diff management. We're committing it back into Git now. Uh, bug is fixed. That's the commit message. And uh, oops, we lost the uh, connection to the send server, but just reload and fix that. Okay, ready to commit to Git and sync to the Git server. Uh, the Git server will emit a message to Jenkins and say that there's new code in Git. Jenkins will start to process its uh, its own script and copy the files over from Git into uh, Sense, where it's also reloading the Sense app, and the bug is fixed. We see that in Git in Jenkins, um, we get some stats on what happened and um, what parts of the Jenkins script as executed. So let's switch over to the production version of the app. We fixed the bug in the development version. Let's move to the production version and merge in the changes um, that we did. So in production, we still have a bug. And um, we're going to take the code that's in the development branch and use it uh, merged into production. We switch to production branch and see we also immediately got a, um, a chance here to merge the code from the development branch and we then immediately get 17 changes to um, the uh, production branch, which we can sync to the Git server. Doing that triggers the same behavior as before, where Jenkins will pull in the, um, the production branch this time and copy it over to the Sans server, then trigger a reload of the Sans app. This time the production version got updated and we see um, that the bug has been fixed now also in production.